Hello again. This time, a bit of scrap wood, gonna make some uh, little games for the kids to play. Rainy days and such. Um, in Scotland, lots of rainy days. Anyway, a bit of old MDF, 18 mil stuff, but it just, it was a draw point, I think, I was making. Um, didn't turn out quite right, wrong size or something, and went into the bin. Or, scrap bin. Experiment making some dowels. Made quite a few of them. So, a few of them. What I want to do first is rip this down into 12 centimetre pieces. Okay, so we end up at the moment with three very tactile squares. Remember they're for children, so you don't want anything that's too sharp or abrasive so they can play with it. Right, what we'll do now, in fact from there, what best thing to do, what we'll do is we'll cross the whole square like so as a big cross. There. Okay, right, I want to just divide that by about R. So, we've got a total there of six. We're gonna come down here to three, but I want the three on this. So, depending on what type of tool you're using, set your stop there, three centimeters, and mark the lines. As you're going around. And there we are. And we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, six. Done. Do the others. Okay, then get a divot. What's a divot? Nice, yes, that type of divot, yeah, that type of divot, and just punch everyone. Right, next I want to take this measure again and Increase it so that it takes up the center of that. So we're looking now probably four and a half. Let's have a look. There. Yep. 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 Right, again. Mark. Mark. Uh, there. Turn it. There. There, turn, there, there. Okay, now these take over to the chop saw. Now I have set the depth off on the chop saw so that it goes just a little bit into the wood. Not a lot, just a bit. No fool. And we're going to put on them lines. Simple. Now I'm going to add another line to it on the outer frame. Doing just the one first, see what it looks like, see if I like it or not. Yeah, yeah not that. Okay, two more. Right, next job, I've just got some um, Libron colour dyes, water-based water colour dyes. Um, Mix one with some water, and I'm just going to, it's a green is this one first, and with this one I'm just going to colour this first one, 
I'm going to have to paint it back to just the stain, the water stain. I need it again in a minute. <laughs> I hate wasting stuff, even coloured water. Dear God, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be soaking in that well with this one. But as long as you can tell the difference between the two, at the end of it, I think you will be able to. And then we have another dilemma. More colour I have to throw away. No, you have enough, yes. Perfect. Yeah. Right, I've set the depth stop so that it goes almost all the way through and back off about 5 mil from the far end. If you use an MDF, be careful because this drill will take that top piece that you've cut there off. Maybe, in hindsight, drill the holes first, then do the cut. Because now I've got to hold each one with my fingers down like that to prevent it from pulling down. can tell I'm making this up as I'm going along <laughs> but um, another slight change I'm going to take the edges off right so basically what I've got here is this outer edge here with a chisel pop it off it should all pop off evenly because it's been cut evenly and it's MDF it likes to just peel off and it makes it a more defined shape so now we'll go to the Thin belt sander and just sand all the edges. And there we have the finish. And now the last bit. Right, well, there it is. It's actually a game of tic-tac-toe, but without the pens. So the kids can just keep playing it and playing it and playing it. That's simple. There we go. There we go. There we go. In we go. He wins. Very good. He would have won. And there we have it. You see? Very simple. Okay, right, well, I hope you found that interesting. <laughs> Have a little game yourself. Um, anyway, you, if you liked it, stick a like in the box there for us. And if you haven't subscribed, well, subscribe and hit that bell button. That way you'll get the next one that comes through with no messing. And also, any comments, put them in the bottom. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, once again, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye for now.